Cotton Town TV in association with Aericom. I've got uh, Darren G with me tonight after the 3 0 win over Osset. Uh, Darren, uh, we've, we've tended over the course of the season to lose one or two of these games that we've been expected to win. Uh, what do you think the difference was tonight? Uh, I think obviously Tommy and Mark's team talk tonight was superb. It was all about what we learned from the Grantham game. You know, we had a fantastic result against Stockton, went into Grantham, and I think it's a cliche that's used in football quite a bit after the Lord Mayor show. Um, and I didn't think that we really performed against Grantham. And I think Tommy and Mark got into it with the lads tonight and said, you know, we can't do that. Fantastic result Saturday. Uh, and we've got a, a good teams go to the next game and get better and better. And I think tonight, from back to front, that's exactly what we've done tonight. Absolutely. And we got the early goal. Uh, Lamin obviously has got man of the match, which I was personally really pleased for him because I think a lot of times this season he's picked up knocks and he always looks a threat for me. So uh, what was your shout on his performance tonight? Yeah, I, th I, think he's a, I think he's done really well. But I think, you know, having Nat up there helps these guys. You know, it sticks with Nat. It's going into Nat. Lads can play off Nat. Um, I thought he was superb because it looked like he tweaked his hamstring after about five minutes. Um, but uh, uh, Nat's one of those players that looks injured all the time, but it, fantastic ability. Um, and it, but it brings the best out in Lamin, you know, and, and Lamin is a match winner. And I think, you know, he's missed a good few chances tonight, but he's in there. You know, now he's getting in there. And probably a few weeks ago, and we talked about it at the, the Pontefract game when, when I, last time I spoke with you guys, that I said with a bit more mileage in the legs because we haven't played and we'll get better and better. And I think that's what you're seeing now. You know, you see the team full of confidence, a team that goes forward. And we may, we, you know, we could have put the game to, to bed a lot earlier today, but we've created chances. We're in the box, we're hitting the post, keepers making saves. And to win 3-0, great result after travelling the distance we travelled on Saturday. Absolutely, and the rain missed us. And uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but we've had ground stuff here all day because there was a threat of some heavy rain and it's actually landed in Leicestershire tonight. And uh, I just said to Lamin what was the pitch like tonight and he was full of praise for the for the ground staff. And uh, what was what was your take? Did, did that play a part? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, massive hats off to all these guys that have been helping the club. You know, I've been seeing it on the socials that how many people have been down here late last night and today. And you can see with that performance today, you know, we give the lads something that they can play on and, and, they'll, and they'll turn out performances like that. But no, absolutely superb today warmed up with, uh, with Felix before the game and we went through a few little bits and you know you can see the smile on his face that he's, con that the, he's there, he's got movement, he can get off the line so absolutely hats off to everybody that's done what they've done today and uh, and hopefully we've replayed them with a, with, a, uh, with a good performance tonight. We've got games coming thick and fast at the moment, I know you'll give me the old cliche if I want to go beyond one game so I'll just stick to the one game. Thursday night we're at uh, Liversidge or we may not be at yeah. Liversidge uh, any any sort of uh, thoughts on, on ahead of that? We've got any injuries, anything that perhaps supporters would like to know? And what's, I, your, what's your feelings on that game going forward? I just think everybody wants to play at the moment. You know, nobody wants to miss out. You know, we we can all see the uh, the golden egg that's at the end of this if we can get through to the playoffs. So you know, I think lads are going to be tired. Lads are going to pick it picking up little nick, niggles and knocks. But it's amazing how how those niggles and knocks heal when you're winning games. When you're winning games with football, you know, you'd rather be playing than training, like we've said before. We've missed out on a few games this season. So, you know, we take every game, you know, and it's down to Tom and, and uh, Mark, uh, Mark and Clerky and myself now to, to literally keep the squad together. We may have to rotate a little bit for Thursday if they feel that that's necessary to do. But we've got strength off the bench now. And we've not had that a lot this season. And now we have. We've got a strong bench. There's one or two that aren't here today through whatever reasons that will hopefully come in on Thursday. So, you know, for me, I think if you said now anybody injured for Thursday, I think nobody would put their hand up. Everybody will be wanting to play. It's an old cliche, but uh, I think the important thing is, obviously, when you've, when you've got a squad, you've got, you know, it's important to keep the people that aren't necessarily in the team on board. And uh, I've heard a lot this season about a good dressing room and... Uh, that's certainly important at the moment, I would think. It's vital, Mick. At the end of the day, you know, you can you can be a team of individuals, you can be whatever, but but this team is a good team, and it's something that I've always been lucky enough to have in in, in my managerial career. Is a good team on the pitch and a good team off the pitch. And Tommy and Mark and Clerky have worked really hard with these guys, and these guys are a good set of guys. They stick together, they look after each other. And they're getting the rewards. They're getting the rewards now, which is fantastic. You know, to come here today after Saturday and to and to win three could have been six or seven, but for me, it's three nil. It's a great three. No goals against. Thoroughly professional. No really injuries. 
and we march on for Thursday night. And, 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 and exciting sort of week ahead, really. Uh, you know, the, I've not seen the other results tonight. Have you got any experience yourself? Obviously, you've, you've joined us, I know, in the past you've worked with Gary Mills. Yeah. Have you got any experience with the playoffs yourself? From, yeah, from... obviously, been in a few playoffs and won a few leagues. So, yeah, you know, take every game as it comes. But you've got to enjoy it, mate. You yeah. know, it's, that's the thing. And it's for you guys as well. You know, you work, and, and all the all the volunteers. It's for everybody. You know, we're all working really, really hard, and you've got to savor these days because you don't get that many in football. And when you get them, you've really, really got to savor them and, and cherish them. And these are memories that that will stick with you forever. So, you know, we we go on again uh, with everybody. That that and I mean that. You know, uh, the ground staff, the the bar staff, the kitchen people. We're, it, it's a unit here, and that's what I really like. And w when I came to the club, it's something I mentioned to Gary. I said, you know, the spirit that Carlton have got. I've been in some I've been in some clubs where they don't have what you've got here. And it's worth a million dollars to you, it really is. That's really good to hear that from <clears throat> from my perspective, being the chairman of the club. Thanks, thanks for the interview, pal. No problem. And good luck for Thursday night, and we'll, we'll take it from there. Smash it. Thank, Thank you, you very much.